Michigan Chronicle Power 50. Power 50. I've always been driven to serve and to try to lift up those who are um, often neglected and rejected, and that's the way my life has been. I always wanted to be for the underdog, to try to make him or her the top dog. You gotta have the faith and the guidance of um, the Lord, number one. You gotta know that um, if you believe in him, then the guidance will come your way. But we're also a people of free will, and you've got to rely on, at least I do, of your, your background and all of the, some of your experiences. You know, I, I came back to Detroit from uh, Washington, D.C. seven years ago, and uh, I was there covering the Supreme Court um, for a national newspaper chain. And I came back to Detroit because it's home. Uh, I was born here, I grew up here, uh, I learned most of what I know about the world uh, right here in Detroit. In order to be successful, I think you have to do three things. One, you have to work really hard, you have to have pride in your work, and you gotta outwork other people. And then I think the second thing that you have to do is you have to be curious, learn as much as you can, uh, learn the things that you don't think you need to know so that when you are ready for that information, that it's right at your hands. And then I think the last thing is you gotta be fearless. You have to have a level of boldness, um, knowing that you belong where you are in those particular positions and um, speak uh, with confidence that you can contribute. Basically, in life, if you try to do the right thing, if you try to honor God, um, yourself, your country, your profession, the people around you, you'll be okay. Um, I think basically it's being able to look at yourself and like who you see looking back at you in the mirror and doing the right thing or trying to, despite what's going on, despite what people think about you, despite what others want you to do, and despite what the consequences may be for doing the right thing. Um, and that's how I try to live my life. It's a great honor, obviously. I mean, 50 is, uh, that's a pretty special number, a special number of people. It's not, like you, as you say, it's not 200, uh, it's 50. Uh, but to me, any honor you get really uh, is just a challenge to more responsibility. Uh, it's a challenge to do more work. It's saying, look, you've done this thing, we're recognizing you, but now you've got to, <laughs> you got to keep it up or you have to do more. And uh, I always try to, try to look at any recognition I get as a challenge and an opportunity uh, to do more of the work uh, that means so much to me. To live a life with power, I think you have to be authentic. And to me, that means being the same person all the time in every single place. And so it just reminds me, I had a conversation with someone recently where they said to me, you will say, I'm gonna send a prayer up about that um, very vocally and very openly. And I'm like, absolutely, because that's who I am. I'm grounded in faith. And so I need to talk about it and I need to be able to express it. Uh, and I think when you are authentic, people can connect with you and that they're willing to make deals with you. And that's what I'm really trying to do, make deals for children. I appreciate the, the Chronicle giving me that kind of an honor. I don't do what I do because I'm trying to be on a power trip, but I'm trying to keep folk from tripping and slipping on the issues that they have to deal with in life. And I think that any time a historical, uh, archive, iconic uh, journalist piece like The Chronicle seeks to recognize you, that says something. It compels one not to reside and stay on what has been done, but really to keep, continue to do what needs to be done. Michigan Chronicle, Power 50.